Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be shining a light on a couple of malicious browser add-ons called weathercenter.co and myquickconverter. They're both made by a company called Springtech Limited, also known as Polarity Technologies Limited. A company which has put out a vast number of add-ons, all of which are classified as potentially unwanted programs. I've not come across a list of all the add-ons they have made, yet they're literally that prolific and all of the add-ons are a detriment to your system. So Polarity Technologies and Springtech Limited are based in Cypress. All the add-ons look pretty similar and have the same purpose, to hijack new tabs on various web browsers. Searches are submitted to those websites, usually are tracked, and users using effective browsers can get redirected to other websites randomly. A list of them can be seen below. In fact, we can also do a search just to get some idea of how prolific they are. So yes, there are a lot, and you might notice looking at the little picture, it is pretty much the same, this same search tab. And we will take a look at it later on. So older posts, so search is limited to 50 entries. Well, 50 entries is not going to cut it. We've not repeated them, although there are some similar names like quick speed test and quick speed check. This is Springtech Limited's website. We can contact them for further information, perhaps like, how many add-ons have you made? This will be the add-on I'm taking a look at, weathercenter.co. It seems to be the most prolific one in the enterprise environments that I work in. Not sure why. Doesn't look anything special, but yeah, I've seen this one more often than any of the other add-ons that they've made. Here's some of the others that I've come across in the Chrome Web Store. And there is a giveaway that it's all the same company, is when you look at the privacy policy. It all links to legal.polaritytechnologies.com. Like the Easy Speed Test app. Where does this go? Oh look, same place again. EasySpeedTest.co, the website itself, the privacy policy. Oh look, Polarity privacy policy again. Email account login and the website email account login.co, privacy policy. Yeah, no surprise there. Quick email access. Additional information, the privacy policy. Yeah, so I think you're starting to see a pattern here, aren't you? Quick email access, the privacy policy, and would you believe it, priority privacy policy. All the same thing. While I was researching for this video, I happened to come across the views privacy policy. And if I do a search for polarity, when you use services or review content provided by Polarity, we automatically collect and store certain information in server logs. Um, yep, pretty similar to the privacy policies, which we've just seen. But I don't know if these two companies are actually linked or they're just using the services from Polarity. So I have a victim system set up here, Windows 10. Yes, we're going to sacrifice a Windows 10 system. I'll open up the website in Edge and I want to go to the download. I want to install it. Well, I don't really. A <laughs> bit, of, bit of a catch though, that you have to give them a location first. On the left hand side, I've got a copy of NoTrack running just to show me all the DNS queries that are being made on my DNS server. And I also have a copy of Wireshark running as well. So we can take a look at everything that is unencrypted because I've gone straight for HTTP. I oh, don't mind these other IPs which are being very busy at the moment. The one I'm focusing on is the end one ending dot one one three. Anyway, enough pre-information, let's get on with this. Search the web and access popular weather content free from your search bar. Yes, I would love to have this. Oh, it's talking to me, isn't it? How rude. So publisher, Spring Tech Limited. Hmm. Oh, shut up. I'm not sure if you can hear that at all. Yeah, it's been really annoying. So this is it. My victim system now has this toolbar at the top of it. Let's do a search. I should do a search for myself. So where have you gone? Results.hweathernation.co and you've done the search with Yahoo. Let's see if I can spot my search there. Oh, it's right there, isn't it? So follow TCP stream it in clear text there. So we have a unique identifier that's changed from when I tried this earlier in VirtualBox. The query that I made, user agent, so that's just showed all my searching off to the whole world. It's unencrypted. There's nothing to stop anyone reading that. Unlike how search engines are now with everything encrypted for HTTPS. So if I open up the website, 
It doesn't really seem to track any further here, but this is perhaps what I can't actually see. There's other stuff going on in the background, whatever they're going to do with my data. Yeah, that I'm never going to know. So it's bad enough having a toolbar that's stuck at the top of the operating system, but now let's see what uh, one of the add-ons does. Oh, the extension has changed what is shown for a new tab here. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? This page is encrypted. But I'm not sure that toolbar there is. Well, I can't see it there, so it must be encrypted. Well, you can encrypt all you want, but if you're still sending data elsewhere, then you're a detriment to security. It's quite remarkable how many sites are being visited at the moment. Yeah, considering there's nothing like that on my site, there's nothing externally hosted here. Great. What a load of rubbish. At least Chrome is bugging me for the option of removing that add-on. You can see it leaking out data there. Awful thing. As far as the features go on the toolbar, all these links are clickable and they just go off to uh, websites that are just anything else but that company. So I accept the news one, I'm not sure exactly that is because that .co address seems to be very similar to what I've seen. And you've also got this actual converter thing that it's meant to be used for and that just sends you off to another service. And by the way, each time you're clicking on this search bar, it just sends a bit of data off to uh, Springtech Limited. Oh, it's talking to me again. Oh, it's recommending another extension. Encrypt your searches, what? Because you've just put an add-on that sends searches unencrypted, so now you're giving me an add-on to make them encrypted. Does that seem a bit weird to anyone else? Yeah. Anyway, it gives another conversion service here as well, so that's another third-party one. And at least this one's a different service, because when I look at the privacy policy, it's nothing like what we've seen. So, German company, it's nothing like Polarity technology. As far as removing these add-ons go, from what I understand, initially it wasn't very clean. It would uh, completely disrupt the browser settings, but it appears the newer versions of Chrome are able to uh, put it back to how it was, like the default search settings and get rid of those rubbish toolbars. And removing the package I installed from Edge, yeah, that can be uninstalled. Do I trust that that's 100% clean? No, not really. If I'd been asked to clean up a system with this on, I would go for the option of formatting and reinstalling the entire OS. Anyway, that was a look at an awful set of add-ons from a company called Springtech Limited. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.